Hi students, now we are going to learn one of the important concept to solve the different types of expressions that is the inequalities. Okay, so inequalities. So we know that equality. So what is an equality? So if any expression, okay, any expression having LHS left hand side and right hand side RHS, if these are represented by a symbol equal to then we can say that the expressions are equal okay so for example so x plus 2 equals to 0 okay a linear expression or linear equation or quadratic equation for example x square plus 2x plus 4 so which is equals to 0 okay these type of expressions or equations are represented with the symbol equals to okay equal to or called as the equality okay and we can find the solutions for this one okay so if x minus 2 equals to 0 and uh, we can make the x equals to 2 uh, for example if x square minus 4 equals to 0 we can find the values of x is x is equals to so what is x square equals to 4 that means x is equals to plus or minus 2 okay so this is the way we can represent okay if LHS and RHS, okay, if the LHS and RHS are represented with the symbols, okay, represented with the symbols either greater than or less than or greater than or equals to or less than or equals to, okay, if any expressions having the LHS and RHS are represented with greater than, less than, greater than or equals to, less than or equals to. Okay, I'm writing this as this symbol is called as greater than and uh, this symbol is called as less than and uh, this symbol is called as greater than or equal greater than or equal and uh, this symbol is called as less than or equal okay so if any expressions okay if any expressions lhs and rhs are represented with these symbols then we can say that those expressions as inequalities okay so for example if x minus 2 is greater than 0 so now here the x minus 2 is greater than 0 is an inequality. Similarly, x square minus 4 is greater than 0, which is also an inequality. Okay, inequalities can be in variables or in numbers. Okay, so what the inequalities checks over here? All these symbols checks for the truth of the statement. Okay, for example, if we consider phi greater than 2 okay phi greater than 2 so which is an inequality so that means phi is greater than 2 that means it is a true statement it is a true statement truthness of the given statement okay the inequalities are used to check the truthness of the given statement for example minus 1 is greater than plus 1 okay here this inequality is not a true statement it is a false statement okay so the inequalities are used to check the true or false statements okay the inequalities are used to check the true or false statements and the inequalities generally we use the symbols with greater than okay greater than less than greater than or equal to and less than or equal to okay now we have to know what is a solution of the inequality okay so we had find the solution and roots of the equality expressions so like x square minus 5x plus 6 equals to 0 we have the solution size 2 comma 3 okay the root size solution as 2 comma 3 but how to find out the x square minus 5x plus 6 is greater than 0 or less than 0 greater than or equals to 0 or less than or equals to 0 how to find out the solutions of these 
inequalities okay so the solution of the inequalities are nothing but the values of the variable okay generally we represent the variable as in terms of x so the values of the variable the variables are as generally we represent as a x so the values of a variable which make the inequality a true statement okay which make the inequality a true statement then those statements those values of x are called as the solution for the given expression okay solution for the given expression okay now the express what is the expression means here the inequality okay now before going to find how to find out the solutions for the inequalities we have to know the few terminology to find out the solutions first of all we have to know about the intervals okay we have to know about the intervals so in this one the first thing we need to know as the open interval what is an open interval okay generally the open interval means here let consider the condition for example x greater than 2 okay x greater than 2 so now in a linear scale how this can be represented in a linear scale we can represent linear what it is a real scale in a real scale we can represent from the minus infinity to plus infinity let it is 0 let this is as a real scale as 2 minus 2 and having some values over here now the variable x is true when x is greater than 2 okay when x is greater than 2 so if x is equals to 2 okay now it is greater than 2 if x is equals to 3 now this inequality is true for example if x is equals to 2.01 again this inequality is true but if x is equals to 2 okay now it is not greater than this inequality is false okay what is the solution of variable x the inequality solution is nothing but it has to be a true statement okay so true statement means it is greater than or equals to it is just about 2 okay just about 2 and it goes on infinity now the solution for this can be expressed as x belongs to 2 to infinity 2 comma infinity okay but here the 2 is not included now we need to use open braces okay open brackets are used okay to represent the open interval okay to represent the open interval the open brackets are used okay open brackets are used and in graphical representation these open brackets are represented with a small circle this small circle represents then we need to use the open braces okay open braces or open brackets to represent that number okay now here x greater than 2 that means we can represent this is i at the 2 represent with a small circle and it to infinity okay now here at the 2 a small circle means the 2 has to be having the open braces and infinity is always represented with open braces okay are you getting how to represent the interval open interval the open interval are represented with open braces and in graphical it is generally represented by a small circle whenever a small circle is included that means the value are not a part of the solution excluding the value we need to be considered now let me understand with some example if 2 less than x less than 3 is given okay if 2 less than x less than 3 is given so that means how to represent in a linear scale of what is real scale as minus infinity to plus infinity now we are having it is as a 2 okay it is as a 2 and this one is as 3 okay so x lies between 2 and 3 okay x lies between 2 and 3 so that means here 2 will the 2 is included in the solution no so that means at the 2 we need to represent a small open brace open circle and here is also we represent a small circle now this is the representation so that means now the 
resultant of this can be written as x belongs to 2 comma 3 but 3 is excluded okay 3 is not included excluded from the solution as well as 2 is also excluded from the solution the open braces do not include the values okay open braces do not include the values those include in between the values okay those include the between 2 and 3 the values the x belongs to open braces 2 comma 3 represents the x includes all the values in between 2 and 3 but not includes 2 and 3 that means excluding 2 and 3 in between 2 comma 3 values are the solutions for this statement for this inequality okay now let we go for how to represent the closed interval okay next one is representing the closed interval the second one we have to know about closed interval okay right so these closed interval are represented by the closed intervals are represented by square brackets okay square brackets okay closed intervals are represented by square brackets whereas the open intervals are represented by open braces open brackets okay now this type of symbol these type of symbols are represents the square brackets okay so these square brackets in represents the particular values has to be included in the solution okay particular values has to be included in the solution and in a graphical representation these closed intervals are represented with dot okay represented with dot okay closed intervals okay closed intervals are represented with dot okay so that means now consider the statement again what it is for example x belongs to 1 comma 2 this is the way of we represented okay this is the way we represented so that means what it is x is having the values in between 1 and 2 including 1 and 2 okay just uh, before that we had seen that what is the open braces 1 comma 2 represents x belongs to 1 comma 2 represents x okay takes all values okay takes all values in between in between 1 and 2 okay excludes that means excluding 1 and 2 okay so that means what it is 1 2 okay this takes all the values in between 1 and 2 so for means 1.00001 or 1.00002 1.999999 all these values it takes but it doesn't includes 1 and 2 okay it excludes 1 and 2 and what this represents x belongs to square braces 1 comma 2 represents x takes all values in between okay in between 1 and 2 okay it takes all values in between 1 and 2 including okay including 1 and 2 also including 1 and 2 also that means how this is represented let this is 1 and which is 2 so now this is generally represented with including that means dot including means dot not the open small open circle small open circle represents the open braces open brackets and the closed small circle that means a per dot represents the closed circle okay that means closed interval okay dot represents the closed interval now this is the way of representing the closed interval i think now you understand how the open interval or closed interval values has to be taken open interval do not include the values particular values it takes all the in between values whereas the closed interval takes all the including values as well as all in between values as well as including the values now the third type of intervals generally we 
कैन सी एज सेमी क्लोज और सेमी ओपन ओके सेमी क्लोज और सेमी ओपन सो दैट मीन्स वॉट इज इंक्लूड्स लेट कंसिडर एक्स बिलोंग्स टू ओपन ब्रेस वन कामा टू क्लोज ब्रेस ओके सो दैट मीन्स वॉट इट इज एक्स takes all the values in between 1 and 2 okay excluding 1 and including 2 okay 1 is not considered it is greater than 1 and equals to 2 okay so that means how to represent in real axis so which is equals to let this is as marked as 1 this is 2 and open braces open braces means 1 has to be represented with a small circle and uh, at the two we have okay two we have the closed what is the square bracket square bracket means closed okay square bracket means closed now this is so that means the x will take greater than 1 and it is also includes the 2 okay just only remember that so open braces the value is not included the value is not included the values for must be excluded okay whenever we have the square bracket closed bracket square brackets are closed brackets are closed intervals the value has to be included okay the value has to be included okay so for example if the question is given so what it is 2 less than x less than or equals to 5 so how to represent this type of one clearly that what it is 2 And five, okay. For the two, we have less than symbol. Okay, that means less than means we need to use it as a open braces. Okay, I'll always consider that. And here another important thing for less than or greater than. If we have the inequalities less than and greater than, that means it is just above the particular value or just below the particular value means the values are not included. Then we have to use open braces. if it is less than or equals to or greater than or equal to equal to that particular value has to be included then we use as square brackets okay we use square brackets now here x is equals to 5 that means 5 has to be included in the solution whereas x greater than 2 okay 2 less than x means x greater than 2 that means it is above the x that means it is open circle now this is the way of representing okay now how this can be represented x belongs to 2 comma 5 but 2 is excluded 2 is not in the solution open braces and 5 is included 5 is in the solution closed bracket okay 5 is in the solution closed bracket i think now you understand how this semi open or semi closed intervals are represented okay so for example if we consider another condition so minus 2 greater than sorry minus 2 okay x greater than minus 2 otherwise simply consider it as x greater than or equals to 2 okay next what is x greater than or equals to 2 so that means here we have 0 on the real axis 2 and it is equals to whenever we have the equal to we need to represent with a close dot and it is greater than okay it is greater than it goes up to infinity it is greater than now this is the region we need to consider so that means we can represent this as x belongs to 2 in equal to 2 has to be included and infinity open brace okay infinity open brace now we will discuss about the fourth type of intervals as curly brackets curly brackets so up to yet we have discussed open brackets that means open interval closed brackets represented with the square bracket square brackets that means closed intervals and the semi open semi closed okay and next one is the curly brackets okay the curly brackets are generally represented with this is the symbol okay curl same curly brackets these are represented with the symbol and what this curly brackets tells us okay so if we represented as 1 comma 
curl braces of 1 comma 2 that means so here it is x belongs to curl brace of 1 comma 2 that means what it tells us x is equals to 1 and x is equals to 2 okay so the particular values are represented with the curl braces whereas the open intervals open braces or the closed intervals will take in between values also okay will take in between values and including and excluding open way where open excludes the values and closed includes the values but the curl braces represents particular values one and two one curl brace of one comma two represents x is equals to one and x is equals to two but the in between values are not taken in between values are not taken particular values only we have to represent for example if the question is asked that represent in the intervals okay represents in the brackets of natural numbers okay represents in the so what is the set form as natural numbers from 2 to 50 or from 2 to 50 okay whatever it is he is asking us to represent the natural numbers from 2 to 50 so how to represent the natural numbers from 2 to 50 if i represent let consider x is a variable x belongs to 2 comma 50 okay uh, and x belongs to s closed braces 2 comma 50 and x belongs to 2 comma 50 closed brace or x belongs to closed 2 comma 50 open braces will this represents our required question Let's check. Okay, so that means the first one represents us what it is 2 and 50 open braces. Okay, open braces. He is asking us represent the natural numbers from 2 to 50. So, what are the natural numbers from 2 to 50? 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. A particular value size to be taken. But if we represent in this manner, okay, what it takes? It takes all the values in between 2 to 50 excluding 2 and 50. That means 2.5 is also taken and 3.14 is also taken or 4.69 is also be included if we take this type of interval. But is asking only natural numbers. That means the natural numbers are from 2 to 50 are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so on and up to 49 and 50 only these values has to be represented so if we represent this one so what happens if we represent this 2 and 50 it represents all the values in between 2 and 50 including 2 and 50 so it also it all includes so 2.1 2.3 2.4 2 all values but it is also not the our required solution and from 2 to 50 open brace 2 and closed brace 50 so that means here it is a closed dot to his open dot now here is also not our requirement and the fourth one is also not our requirement why because it takes all the in between values okay 2 is closed 50 is open okay 2 is closed and 50 is open okay now here it is open okay so now this is also not the representation then what is the representation the representation is take a curl braces Okay, the representation is take a curl braces. Now x belongs to 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, x belongs to 2, 3, 4, 5, so on, 49, 15. So that means the 2 is a natural number, 3 is a natural number, 4 is a natural number, 5, and so on. We are taking all the natural numbers in the real scale. How to represent this? So 2, 3, 4, and so on. 49 and 50 so these values are included in the solution means to add the 2 it is dot add the 3 it is dot and so on this is the way those particular values are included but less than 2 greater than 2 just that means 1.99999 is not in our solution similarly 2.00001 is not in our solution only 2 3 4 these are the values are represented particular values are represented with oh, what is curl braces okay i think now you understand how to represent the interval using the 
braces okay let me consider a few examples over here and one note has to be considered the minus infinity and plus infinity okay when we obtain the minus infinity and plus infinity these are always represented with open braces open interval okay these are always represented with open brackets so means for, for example if it is x greater than or equals to 5 means in the real scale we can write this as 0 let's consider this is as 5 and up to in plus infinity and so x greater than or equals to we have seen that whenever the equals to is came into the picture we need to use the closed circle or simply a dot that means the value has to be included and it is greater than or equals to so that means it is from including 5 to and greater than so maximum value is so infinity so 5 is included square bracket equal to it is by because it is equals to 5 then it is square bracket infinity whenever the infinity comes we have to represent with open braces for example so x less than minus 1 or x less than 1 okay let's consider with the x less than 1 now it is 1 and 0 and it is less than 1 okay less than means so it is not included 1 so whenever always i am again telling you greater than or equals to less than or equals to whenever the equal to condition has came use the close braces only greater than or less than only greater than or less than use open brace so now it is less than 1 that means open brace 2 it is less than and it goes to minus infinity okay so that means from minus infinity to 1 we can write this as x belongs to minus infinity to 1 so 1 is not included it is less than 1 is not included and minus infinity means it is open brace okay so the important note here we need to consider the minus infinity and plus infinity are represented in open braces and now we discuss some basic properties regarding this inequalities okay some basic properties regarding the inequalities if so okay now the first condition is if a greater than b okay for first uh, condition we are now discussing as so a greater than b and a number c belongs to any real number okay a number c belongs to any real number so let me understand this word so 4 is greater than 2 okay that means a greater than b we are considering it as 4 greater than 2 now if the inequality is added okay if the inequality is added with any real number okay if the inequality is added with any real number c okay so the inequality is added with any real number c what about the inequality so that means if 4 is added with 2 and 2 is also added with the same number okay 2 that means here it is again 6 4 so again 6 is greater than 4 the inequality not changes which is the important note we need to consider over here if any inequality is added with any real number on the both sides okay added with the same real number on the both sides the inequality not changes and the next one is if a greater than b okay if a greater than b the condition is taken and c is any real number the first case is c is greater than 0 okay if c is greater than 0 then what happens to the inequality by multiplying the same what is number so a is multiplied by c and b is also multiplied by c then what happens over here whether the inequality changes or not okay the inequality changes or not we need to consider here okay whether the inequality changes or not now tell tell me yes ah very good the inequality 
not changes if it is greater than zero the inequality is no change in the inequality it is greater than greater than or if it less than less than for example a greater than b so we are considering 4 is greater than 2 okay now c is greater than 1 now i am multiplying c is greater than 0 means greater than 0 means i am multiplying with 2 okay i am multiplying both side with 2 and what i am obtaining yet 4 again yet is greater than 4 okay so if any inequality is multiplied by greater than 0 the inequality not changes now if it is multiplied by less than 0 okay if it is multiplied by less than 0 what the inequality will be so for example 4 is greater than 2 this is the condition and we are multiplying with minus 1 we are multiplying with minus 1 and here minus 4 and minus 2 the minus 4 is now it is less than minus 2 minus 4 is less than minus 2 so that means here it is the inequality changes okay which is the important consideration okay very very important whenever an inequality is multiplied by a negative number okay whenever an inequality is multiplied by a negative number the inequality changes okay the inequality changes if it is greater than changes to less than if it is less than it changes to greater than so that is the important consideration over here sign of inequality changes if it is multiplied by a negative quantity i am writing over here sign of inequality changes when it is or if it is multiplied by okay if it is multiplied by a negative quantity okay if it is multiplied by negative quantity if it is multiplied by negative quantity okay so which is an important consideration we need to be considered okay so now if the same thing apply to the division okay the same thing is applies to the division so what it is if a greater than b okay if a greater than b and c is greater than 0 okay c is greater than 0 so then a by c and b by c for example 4 and 2 again the same consideration and dividing with 2 4 is greater than 2 now 2 is greater than 1 so the division means in no change and in no change this results in no change but if it is divided by the negative quantity yes if it is divided by the negative quantity then the inequality will changes okay then the inequality will changes okay let's consider over here if you divide by minus 2 what happens minus 2 minus 2 and minus 1 now this inequality changes minus 2 less than minus 1 okay minus 2 less than minus 1 okay so these are the important points we need to consider while doing the inequalities while solving for the inequalities so the important point is whenever the inequality is multiplied by a negative quantity the inequality changes if it is greater than changes to less than and if it is less than changes to greater than if it is greater than or equals to changes to less than or equals to and it will less than or equals to changes to greater than or equals to okay so now we can find here we need to know the terms as union and intersection okay union and intersection of okay union and intersection of the intervals okay union means we need to combine the intervals okay combine the we need to combine the intervals union means com combining the intervals generally we term with r okay generally we term with r and intersection means what is a common thing from the two things okay common thing has to be taken and generally we represented with and okay generally we represented with and for example if x greater than 2 and x less than or equals to 7 okay this is the condition 
so if x greater than 2 and x less than or equals to 7 that means here the intersection of these two has to be taken the common portion from these two has to be taken that means how to represent in a scale so let it is 2 it is 7 and plus infinity and minus infinity so x is greater than x is greater than 2 means what it is greater than means open braces at the 2 it is open braces that means 2 is not included and it moves to infinity okay then next x less than or equals to 7 equals to means at the 7 it is closed circle and it is less than up to minus infinity it goes to up to minus infinity so here he is asking for for these two intervals take and and means a common portion has to be taken okay a common portion has to be taken now this is the common portion for these two and how this can be represented now it is represented with 2 2 7 but 2 is open brace 7 is closed brace so that means now 2 comma 7 2 is open means open brace 7 is closed means included that means we can represent as x belongs to 2 comma 7 this is the way of representation for example if the same question is asked us what it is if x greater than 2 or x less than or equals to 7 okay sorry x greater than 2 we will consider another one x greater than 2 common okay not is the common and x greater than 2 or x less than or equals to 1 okay x less than or equals to 1 how to represent this so what it is it is 1 and it is 2 greater than means what it is open circle 2 infinity 2 to infinity and it is less than or equals to so what it is so from the less than or equals to minus infinity to 1 okay equals to means we need to use the dot okay so but in between it is not included in between not included but the solution is included that x greater than 2 as well as x less than or equals to 1 that means how to write this as x belongs to minus infinity to 1 okay x belongs to minus infinity to 1 okay where this is as minus infinity open braces 1 here 1 we are having equal to condition then close braces okay next what is another solution x greater than 2 that means 2 to infinity okay x greater than 2 2 to infinity 2 is not in the solution and infinity means open braces okay open braces and these two are the solution now we need to combine these two then we need to use as a union symbol for combining r r means represented with union symbol okay so this is the way of representing the inequalities okay in the next lecture we will learn how to find out the quadratic inequalities okay an important concept we are going to discuss in the next lecture thank you